again guys this is George so today this will be my available cover series number six and we will be discussing about the gingham as well as the review of gingham so please like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have uh, increase please like this channel and you can send me a message on messenger however please be advised that I'm already working uh, not at home anymore so I left my previous job so my my current job is already office based so we're not allowed to bring cell phone so I may be able to respond to you uh, not in a timely manner yes my part-time job is still at home <laughs> so let's go ahead and start I, again this is gingham and I have the fragrance mists so you can see so I have the lotion so this is what the lotion looks like and I have the shower gel so we will be discussing about the the packaging the 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 scent or the fragrance the fragrance itself as well as the longevity so let's start the packaging guys let's see as you can see for the packaging even though you're the type of person who doesn't want to purchase or who does not collect Bath & Body Works fragrances or if you're a type of person who purchases like just sweet pea all alone if mahorot na sweet pea palit gihapon mo sweet pea meaning you're you're not into limited editions just would you don't want to switch your fragrance and um, because I have customers who does that uh, if you only like the if you're the type of person who only likes vanilla bin, vanilla bean well or or vanilla sugar or anything uh, if you don't collect uh, bath and battery rigs still I would suggest to purchase this even just a small one or uh, the small lotion or the small body mist simply because the packaging itself screams bath and battery rigs this screams bath and battery rigs so of course I think it's just you know just so it's just so bad right if you're using still bath and battery rigs then I guess um, it's 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 good to purchase even just the small small one the small body mist or the small lotion of this yes for you know just for collectible purposes that you have again this is bath and body works scream this screams bath and body works <laughs> right so it's just so about right even just a small one guys i still recommend i still recommend to purchase the gingham <laughs> So let's go to the uh, fragrance notes. The fragrance notes are blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musts. This is floral with um, with a little fruity from the peach. Now, yeah, this is my scent of the day as well. Now, when this was launched, I know you know that I don't like floral but I do like freesia as a fragrance notes but not as a standalone I like black, um, I like jasmine uh, as a fragrance notes but not a standalone so when when this was launched in the US because of course again delayed the four or five months tops or whatever when this was launched in the US I know that I will still like this one because of the blue freesia even though there's no blue freesia here I would still purchase maybe just the body mist simply because again the packaging itself screams bath and battery rigs. So I said, oh there's blue freesia, so I will go ahead and like this one. Now for the fragrance, because again, the body mist I can I can smell um, the freesia. I can smell a lot of the freesia. The lotion, however, I can smell the peach. Now I'm not a fan of peach, actually. I know I have a peach scent there, like the whip chiffon and vanilla. Um, the peach for me is like a, I like it, I don't like it. Yes, like a hit or miss uh, to me. And it it's also base, base aqua mood. Yes, that's that's the peach. But this one, the reason why I like this one because again of the blue freesia. The peach is not. I am fond of pear mango but peach it's there's a distinct scent of peach that sometimes I don't like it I don't know let me know guys if, if you're if you're like me as well 
because you can really smell the distinct scent of peach <laughs> that sometimes I like it sometimes I don't so that's why that for this one good thing because the body mist I, I can smell the freesia there is an undertone of musky but it's not it's not that offensive though yes there there's a musky note but it's not offensive it's the blue freesia and the peach I'm not sure I'm not sure kung unsa smell and violet. <laughs> violet. But for me this is just a very clean. To put it simply, for me this is just a very clean. It's not like fresh type of clean like with like if you have fragrance notes uh, fra fragrances that has pear. The pear scents tend to be fresh and clean and it's fruity it's it's just it's just i just really love pear this one it's more of clean like clean but not fresh the peach is not fresh i don't actually find peach scents a fresh scent tell me if if you have the same thing or you see if you have the same thinking <laughs> if not let me know as well but for me i don't find peach fresh but this one is just very clean. It's just a very simple, clean scent. And this is like sunny days, rainy days, daytime, nighttime, and all year round. This is an all year round fragrance. This is, again, all sunny days or rainy days. If it's very, if it's really raining, it's really cold because of raining, and you will use this, you will feel clean, more clean. If it's like sunny days and then you will go out and spritz this because you want to refresh yourself. Not really a refreshing type of freshness scent, but this is but this makes you feel clean. If you get what I mean. So let me know. Let me know. I think that's a very vague type of um description of a scent of of, of like description of this scent but for me this is just a very clean all year round type of scent now let's discuss the longevity it's strong and it lasts long yes the body mists i've sp uh, spritzed this after uh, after i nag nag take a bath go before kuna classy and until now it's it i can still smell myself and I I spray this before gonna video on it, and I can yes, it's really strong. It's like whoa. Meaning you, meaning that people will know that you're using this one. It's not like overpowering like Ooh, like Anasha, but it's like it's enough for the people to know that you're wearing this scent. This is this is good. This is over. This is strong. But not too overpowering. Yes, it's not headache inducing. Dili sakit sa mga ilong, dili sakit sa mga ulo. But it's it's strong enough that people will know that you are wearing uh, a certain fragrance. Yes, so that's that's my thinking in terms of longevity. Thank you, thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you again, guys. Bye.